evening. Members of the Hong Kong Canada Business Association, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and, and gentlemen good evening. Uh, I'm really glad to join today at the gala of the Hong Kong Canada Business Achievement Award. Now, whenever I come to Canada, I always feel so welcome. Uh, not only just because that so many of the uh, Cantonese-speaking uh, friends, uh, you know, pe you know uh, people from Hong Kong coming to greet you, uh, is that I really feel welcome and feel that this is a place that Hong Kong knows very well, and indeed there's a very strong bond between Canada and, and, and the place I come from. And uh, uh, today, of course, uh, uh, it is, this is a, you know, none, none of my experience in the past can really match what I'm seeing today. This is a very splendid occasion with all of you here. Thank you. And uh, it, it makes me forget that I've only been in, uh, in this country for two days uh, and trying to fighting my, fighting my, my jet lag. Uh, but this is an important evening. I want to congratulate the Hong Kong Canada Business Council and the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in Canada on your successful launch of the first ever Hong Kong Canada Business Achievement Award. And I really want to extend my heartfelt thanks to all the distinguished judges for your valuable contribution to this important evening. Now, we always talk about how, how Hong Kong and Canada are so close to each other because of the, of the, uh, the bonding uh, between the people. And uh, as our uh, uh, very good looking master ceremony just talk about you know, where it comes from, uh, we do have a lot of uh, Canadian passport holders living in Hong Kong as well as many Hong Kong uh, uh, people living in Canada. So that's the, the link between people and people between the two economies is truly it's truly um, distinguished, distinguished, and you can really find another economy on Earth where you, you can find such a strong bond. And uh, more than that, in, in my business, when I travel around the world, I have to say that I find strong bond not only just between people and people, is that between Hong Kong and Canada, we do have a lot in common. Not only the fact that we're sharing the same, you know, at least official language, uh, or that we share the same common law system. Uh, when I go about doing my business as a financial official, you know, in terms of regulation, in terms of trying to see how we can help our business, I find that Hong Kong people, Hong Kong officials, and Canadian officials talk the same common language. We approach business the same way. We have the same way of, uh, of seeing the world and an approach of regulation and, and government role uh, in helping business, very much similar. It is a very rational uh, and also very friendly approach that we bring about in doing our business, which is why I think that the business people in Hong Kong and Canada actually uh, do enjoy a lot of, uh, hopefully, in my view, enjoy a lot of uh, freedom in, in, doing, in doing the work. Uh, we all take pride in our transparency, our diversity, our account accountability, and our economic freedoms, uh, which is the uh, foundation of our, uh, of our uh, economic success. And of course, many Canadian companies uh, you know, have, uh, have, have uh, using, been using Hong Kong as, as a place of doing business. Uh, in fact, uh, Hong Kong is Canada's the sixth largest export market. And uh, Hong Kong is a popular investment destination for Canadian business. Uh, we have a, a number of uh, companies uh, from Canada using Hong Kong as headquarters, 19 regional headquarters, 31 regional offices, 41 local offices, and many, many banks and investment management companies, they're all operating in Hong Kong. The Canadian companies you know, working in Hong Kong come from a variety of uh, sectors and industries, ranging from engineering to banking, to hospitality and to medicine. And many of you are making use of Hong Kong as a platform. Uh, many of you have ventured into the mainland as well as other parts of Asia. And Hong Kong being a, a hub for you to, to, uh, you know, to run your op regional operations. I think your success in Hong Kong have greatly benefited 
um, your operations at home and uh, hopefully contributed to the growth of the Canadian economy. And uh, the, you know, the double taxation agreement signed between Hong Kong and, and Canada last year is a testament to our partnership, uh, making our, uh, our business environment more friendly to our business. Now, this is all very encouraging. But today, I'm, I'm among uh, friends. And uh, if I can help you, or I can help myself, I should, I should say, to try to really predict or forecast what kind of a future are holding, be holding in front of us, you know, Hong Kong and Canada, I would say this. You know, Hong Kong is a place that we are not complacent about our own success. We are a place that we always want to reinvent ourselves. And we, we are a place that we are welcome friends, you know, to join our ventures. And uh, since I'm in financial services, I will not bore you with details, but uh, we keep on reinventing ourselves. Currently in Hong Kong, we are very much celebrating some success in our financial market stories. For example, uh, Hong Kong now is the most important offshore women B business center in the world. And uh, we are uh, enjoying success in the market. Uh, we're helping a lot of companies, customers, uh, using the women B in their, in their transactions. And also, two weeks ago, uh, you know, we, there was this announcement of the uh, Hong Kong and Shanghai stock market, Hong Kong and Hong Kong and Shanghai stock market connection, which allows the Hong Kong investors as well as international investors to invest directly in the Shanghai, and then allowing Shanghai investors and China investors to directly invest in Hong Kong. Now, I mention all this not because you must be working in the financial service sector or, or the uh, or finance management industry. I mention all this because I want you, I want you to have the sense that Hong Kong is never complacent. Hong Kong is always trying to reinvent ourselves. When we see that China is opening up its economic um, borders, uh, opening up the capital market, we feel that Hong Kong will go in there and try to position Hong Kong to be a place for companies in the world to, to do business in China. In the past, that means manufacturing, that means services industry, but in today's climate and into, in the future, that means that the financial market reform will be a very important uh, part of the equation in, in China's going out to the world. And Hong Kong is there trying to uh, grab you know, the, uh, uh, the opportunity to take advantage of our, uh, of our uh, front row seat to, to bring the international business into China. It doesn't really mean that all of you should be trying to invest in the Shanghai market now, or you should be trying to buy women B. But if you're doing that, we will help you. Okay? But I think it, it does mean that Hong Kong will always try to stay relevant. Hong Kong will always try to look for what kind of opportunities out there, what's happening in China, and we want to make sure we invent ourselves to make sure Hong Kong is there. And we will be the pioneer. We will be, we will be the testing ground to try out new ideas. Some will, some will be successful, some will not be successful. But in any case, Hong Kong is a place where a lot of new experiments will be born, and then the success stories will be written. In the past, we have seen so many success stories. From the days when China opened up to today, when China became the second largest economy in the world, Hong Kong is always there. And Canadian business is always there in Hong Kong as well as in the mainland. So I think, you know, I think that the message for tonight is that we should celebrate the, the great cooperation between the, uh, the uh, Canadian business and Hong Kong business, uh, perhaps because of the bonding between people and people, perhaps because of the bonding in our common language as well as the legal system. But more importantly, I think our people see the future. Our people see that there is a rising economy you know, in, in the East, and because of the familiarity with each other, we feel that we can do business together. Whatever, whatever Canadian business want to do in, in Asia, some of that you may not need Hong Kong. You can go to Beijing directly or go to Shanghai directly, but some of that you may find Hong Kong to be a very trustworthy partner to help you along in finding new opportunities uh, in, in this ever-changing game uh, in, in Chinese economic development. In Hong Kong, we are always learning. Every day we are learning what's going on, and we try to adapt and, and, and then try to take, all, take, you know, take hold of the opportunities. And we may be the first one there, 
uh, but then you can be a second one there as well. So I want to uh, uh, congratulate the, again uh, the, the organizers tonight for organizing this very important event. And uh, I think it's very important for us to recognize the success of all the early movers uh, who go to Hong Kong and, uh, and, uh, and to take part in these uh, growing uh, stories in, in Asia. Uh, this award today, tonight, that we, are, that we are celebrating, the first ever Hong Kong Canada Business Achievement Award, uh, is, has been brought about by the collaboration between Hong Kong Canada Business Association and the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office. This is a really excellent opportunity for us to celebrate the success stories of Canadian companies who really you know, took the first steps and go all the way to Hong Kong, all the way to Asia, to uh, really to chase this, uh, uh, these dreams and, uh, of benefiting uh, mankind. And uh, I, I, I congratulate on all your successes. Some of you are successful already, are very big. Some of you are still trying and be, be, you know, still trying to make, make it a go. But in any case, I think you find a good partners in Hong Kong, and uh, from the government of Hong Kong, I wish you all the success, and uh, and we can. Uh, I want you to give you all the assistance, uh, you know, that, that 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 you can really really count on it. Now, without further ado, I want you to um, to help me to join to help to join me in congratulating each and every finalist uh, for the awards, and also wish for the continued success in of these companies in Hong Kong as well as in the home base in Canada. Thank you.